Karim Benzema is a name that needs no introduction in the world of football. The Real Madrid striker, the second highest goal scorer for the club, and top assist provider, this is the story of Karim Benzema, from bully victim to Ballon d'Or winner. So before going into the video, drop your comment, so it makes me motivated. Karim Benzema, a creative forward known for his technical skills, vision, and versatility on the field, his true value came to light after the absence of Cristiano Ronaldo. But it was not easy to achieve success. Let's go back, how he got success. Born on December 1987, in France Lyon. His family came from Algeria, and life wasn't easy. Benzema's childhood story is filled with growing up troubles. As a boy, he overcame many problems. His family struggled financially because they had a large family member, he experienced discrimination from a young age. But football was his escape, and his talent on the field was undeniable. Growing up around dangerous gangs, led him down a path of crime as a child. However, his father's discipline brought about a significant change. Taking him away from the gang, enrolled him in a Catholic school. It wasn't easy other kids were bullying him, since he was different and overweight. Yet, he worked hard to fit in. He started eating better, lost weight, and gradually caught people's attention for his talents. Benzema began his football career, at his hometown club Bron Terralon SC, at the age of 8. While at the club he was nicknamed as Coco by his friends, when he started playing football at a very early age. He started attracting attention from Lion Club officials, when he scored two goals at a under-10 match against the Lion Youth Academy. He was scouted by Lions officials, and they directly visited him to Bron Terralon to sell him. But club president Serge Santa Cruz refused to sell him. It was after Lions officials talked to Benzema's parents, that the deal was done. And that was when Benzema served as a ball boy at Lions senior team games. Though criticized for his quiet nature, Karim Benzema's introverted personality, masked a deeper struggle with homesickness, in his early days in Lyon. Overcoming these initial challenges forged him into the strong, focused player he is today. Benzema's talent wasn't just about potential, it was about immediate impact. At just 16, he tore through the under-16 French league, amassing a staggering 32 goals, a number that still stands as a record today. Benzema's brilliance wasn't limited to domestic dominance. In 2004, he was part of the historic French under-17 team, that lifted the nation's first-ever UEFA European, under-17 championship title. Playing alongside future stars like Hatem Ben Arfa, Samir Nasri, and Jeremy Menez, he contributed his own magic touch, scoring a crucial goal in the group stage against Northern Ireland. Benzema shining alongside future stars. After France's under-17 Euros win, his early goals and trophies laid the path for his rise. Benzema made his professional debut for Lion B, in 2004, at the age of 17. He quickly established himself as a regular starter, and his performances helped Lyon win four League One titles and three Coupe de France trophies. And in 2005 he was called up to the senior team, and made his debut as a substitute against Metz. He signed his first professional contract the same month. Struggled for playing time in his first full season, with the senior team due to the presence of other strikers, like Fred, and Sylvain Wiltord. He made his Champions League debut in December 2005, and scored his first professional goal for the club, in that competition. Benzema began earning more playing time in the 2006-07 season, he suffered a severe thigh injury in November 2006 and missed three months. He returned in February 2007. He has played 148 matches for Lyon and scored 66 goals. He had the option to play for Algeria, but chose to pursue his career with France. Benzema debuted for the senior French team in 2007, and went on to have a successful international career, scoring 37 goals in 91 appearances. Benzema's talent soon attracted the attention of some of Europe's biggest clubs, and in 2009, he made the move to Real Madrid for 35 million euros, a record fee at that time. And the rest is history. He made his debut for Real Madrid in a preseason friendly, against Shamrock Rovers, he struggled to adapt to life at Real Madrid in his early days, and was often criticized by the Spanish media for his underperformance. Benzema finished the 2009-10 season by making eight consecutive appearances off the bench, scoring one goal in that time. Before the 2010-11 season, Benzema switched to the number 9 shirt, under new manager Mourinho. However, Mourinho quickly criticized Benzema, calling him, sparky, and, not used to working. In that season, Higuain suffered a back injury, forcing Benzema into the starting lineup. This became a turning point for Benzema, as he scored his first Champions League goal of the season, and his first hat-trick for the club. Throughout January and February, Benzema enjoyed a period of consistent form, scoring 10 goals in 8 matches, including doubles in 3 consecutive matches. He also scored against his former club Lyon, his 100th professional goal. Despite appearing in only one of the four El Clasico matches, Benzema finished the season second on the team in with 26 goal, playing a key role in Real Madrid's Copa del Rey victory. Benzema followed advice from Blanc and Zidane to lose weight and build muscle, resulting in an impressive preseason with eight goals in seven games. He won the France Football French Player of the Year award, becoming only the second French player in Spain and the second Real Madrid player to do so.
He surpasses Zidane as the top French scorer in La Liga history. Benzema continued his good form in the 2012-13 season, scoring crucial goals against Manchester City, Ajax, and Barcelona. He also won the France Football French Player of the Year award. Ahead of the 2013-14 season, Benzema became part of a formidable attacking trio, alongside Cristiano Ronaldo and Gareth Bale, they enjoyed a successful season, winning the Copa del Rey, Champions League, and La Liga. Benzema scored important goals against Bayern Munich and Barcelona in the Champions League and El Clasico, he signed a new five-year deal with Real Madrid in 2014 and continued to score important goals, including Real Madrid's 1,000th goal in European competition. He won the France Football French Player of the Year award for the third time in 2014 and was chosen as La Liga Player of the Month. Karim Benzema's international career hit a major roadblock in April 2016. Despite being France's star striker, he was shockingly excluded from the Euro 2016 squad, which would be held on home ground. This decision stemmed from a highly publicized blackmailing affair involving fellow French player Matthew Valbuena. Benzema was implicated in the case, accused of acting as a middleman in an extortion attempt related to a sex tape. Benzema vehemently denied any wrongdoing, but the scandal cast a dark shadow over his reputation and ultimately led to his national team exile. It's important to note that Benzema has maintained his innocence in many of these controversies and has received support from fans and teammates. He has also achieved significant success on the field, winning numerous trophies. Benzema scored two hat-tricks in the 2015-16 season and was a regular starter as Real Madrid and won the Champions League. He also played a key role in Real Madrid's victories in the 2016 FIFA Club World Cup and the 2016-17 La Liga and Champions League. Benzema surpassed Thierry Henry on the list of all-time Champions League top scorers in 2017 and signed a contract extension with Real Madrid that will keep him at the club until 2021. He played his 400th match for Real Madrid in 2018 and scored the opening goal in the 2018 Champions League final, Real Madrid won their third consecutive and 13th overall Champions League title. With Ronaldo's departure, Benzema became Real Madrid's main player, scoring 30 goals and topping the club's scoring charts in 2018-19. He reached the 200-goal milestone for the club and became only the fourth player to score 60 Champions League goals. Scored Madrid's first goal in 2019-20 and achieved two significant milestones, 15 consecutive Champions League seasons, with a 50 goals in the competition. Played his 500th game for Real Madrid in El Clasico and helped them win the 2019-20 La Liga. Surpassing Puskas as Real Madrid's fourth all-time top scorer with 304 goals. Benzema became Real Madrid's vice-captain in 2021-22 and the club's captain in 2022-23. He scored his 200th La Liga goal for Madrid, becoming only the fourth player in club history to achieve that feat. Real Madrid win their 14th and 15th Champions League titles in 2022 and scoring crucial goals in the knockout stages. Played a key role in reaching the 2023 Copa del Rey final, and scored back-to-back hat-tricks in the semi-finals against Barcelona. The UEFA Champions League player of the season in 2022. And in 2023, his dream came true when he won the Ballon d'Or hat he dreamed about. In the same year, he won the Copa del Rey with Real Madrid. And after the 2023 season he he moved to Al Etihad receiving a standing ovation in his final match. Incredible achievements as Real Madrid's captain and top scorer, his dominance in the Champions League and Copa del Rey, and his numerous individual accolades, concluding with his emotional departure from the club. So what is your opinion about this video? Comment down below.